All right, so if you want to learn a little bit more about the technical side of how the knock sensor or the knock detector is actually working, go ahead and watch this video now. All right, so you want to learn a little bit more about how the knock monitor works. Well, it's actually really cool, so let's start at the top. So the knock monitor comes in two different units. You have a single and a dual. The single has one knock sensor, and the dual obviously has two. So what that allows you to do is to, if you are having a dual, if you do have a dual knock sensor unit, it allows you to put one sensor on each bank. So maybe you could... Um, use that and put them in the location of the original knock sensors on some cars that's probably really easy to do and then you could go even further and the unit itself could then further isolate where the knock is happening so what that means is the knock sensor uh, would relay that knock is happening the unit would know which cylinder just fired because it has the ability to take rpm input so it knows at which point which cylinder has fired and then it can show you in the software which cylinder is actually knocking, which is really, really cool. So if you knew which cylinder was actually knocking, that would allow you, the tuner, to go in and maybe add a little bit more fuel or maybe pull a little bit of spark advance out from the actual cylinder and then allow you to raise the power level of the entire tune and the safety level of the entire tune. So that's one side of how it works. So it has two knock sensors bringing the information into the unit and the unit goes, uh, shows you from there where it's knocking and when it's knocking. The audio input actually has its own audio filter and amplifier built in so that you hear in a very clear manner what is actually going on. Now, when you set up the unit initially, you set what's called a threshold. The threshold means you run the engine and you get a baseline level for what noise is throughout the RPM ranges. So then from that point, uh, anything that really sticks out, you can clearly hear is or is not knock. So it's a really, really awesome feature. Uh, the rest of the way this system works is it has also got outputs. So it has a zero to five volt output. So the system will go ahead and communicate with something like an HP tuner scanner or an SCT scanner. So anything that will take a zero to five volt input, you can send the data out to it, which is really, really awesome because if you have one data logger in particular or scanner that you really love, it's really easy to hook this device up. So you go ahead and send the wires out, signal and ground, and the next thing you know, your scanner has the same information that this unit does. However, to be fair, we have done extensive playing and testing with the software that comes with the unit. And as long as you have the information coming into the unit, like RPM or throttle position, it has a fantastic scan type interface to begin with. So you might just consider using the information in the scanner that it comes with. All right, so the unit does have a simple and advanced type mode to it. So what that means is if you're using it in a simple mode, you can go ahead and put your knock sensors on and just get up and running and you can hear where the knock is happening, left bank, right bank, or you can just hear that the knock is happening, which will allow you, the tuner, to go ahead and pull some spark or adjust some fuel to get the knock to go away. But let's say you wanted to do some super tuning and you wanted to go ahead and really, really narrow down where the knock was happening. Well, they have an advanced mode for that, which is so awesome that you can even narrow down to which cylinder is doing the knocking. So they can do that because this, the unit will know RPM, if you go ahead and plumb that in, the unit will know which bank the knock is occurring on. And then also in the software, you tell the system which cylinders are assigned to which sensor. So then from that, it can tell you exactly which cylinder is doing the knocking. And if you have a really, really good tuning system that will allow you, an awesome tuner, to go ahead and dial that one cylinder in even further to get the knock to go away, which then allows you to run a little bit of a hotter tune and still be safe. So the system itself is really, really versatile. So you can do a quick, easy, am I knocking, am I not? Or if you really wanna spend a lot of time and perfect a car, you have that option too.